you have no idea how to run the beep test, just go to Google and type in how to run beep test. You get tons of articles, but here's some basic instructions and we'll go through them together quickly. So first of all, you're going to place markers 20 meters apart. So put one cone down, then 20 meters ahead of you, you're going to put another cone down or some type of marker. Position yourself at one of the markers. This is where you will start. Then you're going to press the start button on your fitness test audio. I'll show you how to get that file and put it onto your iPhone. When you hear that beep, you're going to run to the other side. You're trying to get there before the next beep sounds. Now, if you get there and the beep still hasn't gone, you just wait there until you hear the next beep. Then you start running back to the other side. So wait there until the beep sounds before running back to the other marker. Repeat this process for each shuttle until you are unable to keep up with the beeps. Remember, you must wait for the beep before starting the next shuttle. So if you get to the other side, do not start running back until that beep goes, otherwise you're cheating. When you miss a beep, you must continue to run to the marker in front of you. Turn at the end and try to catch up with the pace within two more beeps. The test ends when you fail to reach the opposite marker for two consecutive beeps. So if you're running to the other side and the beep goes before you get there, don't give up. You can still keep going. If you quickly get to the end, quickly get to that marker that you're already running towards, and then you increase your speed, get back to the other marker before the next beep goes. If you try and you don't get to the other marker before the next beep goes, then you're done. That's two consecutive beeps where you didn't get to the marker in time. Your final score is the last level and shuttle you completed before missing a beep. So there's some other information on here if you want to read this. Uh, this is showing what average scores are or what some good scores are. But this is actually, I think this is more for just average healthy human being. This isn't specifically for athletes. Athletes should be a little higher. But let's say right in here, I'm, I'm 21 to 30. So excellent would be 12.12, average 9.13 if you're 14 to 16. There's some good indicators. What I'm going on is above 13 is excellent. Anywhere from 11 to 13 is good. That's where you want to be in. And you want to really strive to get above 13. Anything above 13 is like really exceptional for athletes, especially soccer players. You want to be hitting the scores. So let me show you how to get the audio file. So just go on to YouTube. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't, obviously. But type in beep test full audio. So then this is the file that I use here. And you can just download this and put it onto your iPhone. You may have a specific way of doing that. Uh, what do I use? So I would just take this URL. I use, um, I think it's called Mac X. Let me see. Max, Mac X YouTube Downloader. And there's lots of ways to do it, but basically you would just, you can download this file, just search, or this uh, software, just search for MaxX YouTube downloader, free download, something like that, and you'll find it. So then I would just download the file, and then I would put it into my iTunes and sync it to my iPod or my iPhone. So then when I'm running, I just, I have this little like weight belt or waist belt that I have for my iPhone. You may have an armband, you may just have a, a nice pocket, but just start the audio and then get ready to go. And it's going to start in like five seconds and then you'll go and hit the, start the beep test and try to go for your best score. All right, so check this out real quick. I'm not supposed to have a camera in here actually, but I'm going to sneak this in for you guys. But I just set up some cones right here and some cones down there. And this is about 27 strides. I did a search on Google and it said 20 meters is about 27 strides of the average human being. So whatever your stride is, just make sure that you make it the same every time. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this up in the corner and hopefully no one gives me a hard time. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. So I recorded myself running the test and only took about 11, 12 minutes and I put it on super speed here so it's going to take off pretty quick but I just wanted to give you a few ideas so you can progress at a faster rate, get better results and improve your stamina. So first of all if you saw my snapchat the first time I did this, I've only done this two times to date but I'm going to keep doing it every Friday and I want you to do it with me if you really want to improve your stamina but the first time I did it I got 11.7 
The second time I did it was 11.11. .11. Not as big of an improvement as I wanted, but moving in the right direction, and I'm going to do even better next week. But a few ideas. So first of all, the beep test starts really slow. So I want you to conserve your energy in the beginning. Don't sprint to the other side and then wait as long as possible. Jog there and try to get there so you have time just to turn, take a deep breath, and then go in the opposite direction. Instead of sprinting, resting, sprinting, resting, getting yourself unnecessarily tired before you have to because the intensity is going to pick up and you're gonna to have to sprint back and forth. So while you can, jog it out, focus on keeping your breath nice and calm. Next thing is starts. So that first step, really make sure that your first step is a nice, strong, powerful step because as you progress with the test, it's so important that you do have a quick, sharp start. If you don't, it's going to take away like a half a second, which can make a big difference when the speed really starts increasing for this test. Focus on your breathing and your running technique as you are doing these short 20 minute, or sorry, 20 meter runs eventually sprints, but really focus on your running technique and your breathing. And focus on the sprint. Don't don't think about the test and the voice in the on the audio saying 11.1, 11.2, 11.3, and you thinking, oh, I just wish you would get to 12. Just focus on one sprint at a time, and that will allow you to block out the unnecessary thinking about the future and just focus on the present focus on making the most of every single sprint and just doing the best that you can now it's really important that you focus on the beeps and the speed of the beeps because they increase as the test goes on and they even increase on each level so for example when it's at 7.1 it may be a little quicker at 7.7 .7. and what i was saying in this video when I, I actually i think i say it after this little clip is I didn't get as good of a score as I wanted because I lost my focus. It wasn't that I was totally out of breath and I couldn't run any longer. It's just that I didn't realize, hey, wait a second, the speed actually increased. I had to go faster. So the first time I did the test when I got to 11.7, .7, yeah, I was like really out of breath. I was out of shape. But the second time I did it, I just lost focus and I, I, I kind of realized like after two beeps, I was like, hey, wait a minute, I'm just beep and I'm in the middle of the, of the 20 meters. So really focus on the speed of the beeps because they will increase. So you gotta make sure that you're keeping up with the speed as it increases. The last thing I wanna say is if you have the option, do this on grass. It's always better to run on grass. It's just better for your knees, your joints, your body. Anytime you have the option to run on grass as opposed to a gym floor or pavement, take the grass option. And just one more thing, don't worry about my score worry about your own score. So hopefully your score is better than mine. I hope your score is better than mine. And I hope you realize that it doesn't matter that you're better than me, or it doesn't matter if you're worse than me. All that matters is that you're doing better each week and you're improving your stamina each week. So if you're feeling scared and afraid of doing this and you think it's gonna be really challenging, just do it, just put yourself through it. Honestly, it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And if you can't put yourself through 10 minutes of pain, then you don't deserve to have stamina. You don't deserve to be a great player. So take those ideas into mind when you're running this test. Whew. So I beat my time from last time. It wasn't as good, I kind of lost focus at the end there. I was just focusing on my running. I didn't realize the time really picked up. And I think I could have got a bit more. But I beat my previous, which is 11.7, .7, which is pretty bad, but I hadn't ran in three months. And this week, 11.1. .1. So all you can be happy with is progression, not perfection. So just keep trying to beat your own score. Don't worry about my score. Worry about your own score and just try to beat that. If you like this content check out the soccer success planner you can download it for free there's a link in the description below and for advanced training check out the online soccer academy